Hi everyone, my name's David and my wife and I are full-time RVers that boondock and dry camp almost exclusively, which means that we don't have any hookups most of the time. And so it is very important, especially on these upcoming hot summer days, that we still have a reliable and cost-effective way to run our air conditioning. As many of you know, we have an integrated solar system on our travel trailer that we live off of. However, it's not really robust enough to start and run our air conditioner for an extended period of time. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what is, in my opinion, the best and most cost-effective way to start and run your RV's air conditioner. Now the reason I'm making this video is because I'm trying to combine a bunch of other separate videos that I've made here and there throughout the years and we've got a lot of new subscribers to the channel and I just want to be able to condense all of this information, bring it all together in one quick and easy video, especially for the new people to the channel that might not have seen each and every one of those individual videos. Now since we're not powering our RV's air conditioning with either shore power or with solar, then of course we'll be powering it with a generator. And the ultimate power setup for powering your RV's air conditioner while boondocking or dry camping has three parts. The first and most important of which is of course the generator. Now as far as brands go, I highly recommend Honda. They're the leading name in small engines and we have had zero issues with our Honda generator and we've had other generators in the past and without question the Honda is the highest quality. And then also, of course, when it comes to powering an RV, you absolutely should have an inverter generator as opposed to a conventional style generator. Now to have the ultimate setup, we want to try and be as cost effective as possible, right? I mean, I love saving money, don't you? And so you would want to have the smallest inverter generator that will also fully power your RV. And for our setup, that would be the Honda EU 2200i. It's compact, lightweight, very quiet, and relatively inexpensive when compared to larger inverter generators. For comparison, the Honda EU 3000iS is 90 pounds heavier, twice as loud, six inches larger in height, length, and width each, and costs more than twice as much as the Honda EU 2200i. And so if you're able to get the job done with a smaller inverter generator, then why wouldn't you? Now, you might be concerned that this 2200 watt generator is not gonna be large enough to start an RV air conditioner because if you're not familiar, the startup amperage for these rooftop air conditioners found on most RVs is very large. For ours in particular, it's over 40 amps of peak startup amperage and this small inverter generator is not big enough to start the air conditioning by itself. However, that's where the next piece of the puzzle comes in, and that is a soft start. And what we have is the MicroAir Easy Start 364. And what it does is it reduces the startup amperage all the way down to something that a small generator like this can handle all on its own. Now what's so great about the MicroAir Easy Start is that it only costs about $300, and so, a generator like this, which costs about $1,000, with that Easy Start, comes to a total of about $1,300. So if you can start and run your AC with this combination, you're gonna be saving a ton of money as opposed to getting the next size up inverter generator that's gonna be able to start and run the air conditioner on its own. Like I said, the Honda EU 3000 IS costs about $2,300. So you'd be saving $1,000 by going with this smaller generator generator, and then you get all of the other benefits from just having a smaller generator. Like I said, it's smaller, so it's going to take up less space in your storage bays or in the back of your truck. It's lightweight. Even my wife can carry this small generator. It only weighs about 60 pounds. It's extremely quiet, especially on eco mode. Uh, the peak decibel output level is only 48 decibels, and then again, much cheaper. 
So in my opinion, there's no beating the combination of a smaller inverter generator and the MicroAir Easy Start. The Easy Start is also really easy to install onto your own RV, and I actually made a step-by-step -step installation video that you can go ahead and check out. I'll put links in the video description um, so that you can watch that if you're curious. And we've had the Easy Start installed on our RV's AC as well as this very same Honda generator now for over three years and we've had zero issues. They both work exactly as expected every single time. And I do have a promo code for you guys as well. If you use promo code FATE at checkout, you can save $15 off of an easy start through MicroAir. And again, links in the video description below to all of these things that I'm talking about. So you can easily click on those, go check them out for yourself. And then the final piece of the puzzle for the ultimate way to power your RV's air conditioning is a propane conversion for this awesome generator right here. And if you've seen the Honda 2200s before, you'll notice this thing right here doesn't come on them. This I actually installed by myself. There's a company called Hutch Mountain that makes an excellent propane conversion kit for these generators. And what's so great about it is that the only permanent modification you have to make to these generators is you have to drill a single hole into this plastic casing to fit this propane line through. And that's it. So if for whatever reason you want to take the propane conversion off in the future, you've, na you've made no modifications to the engine itself. Um, just this little hole in the case. It's incredibly easy to put on. I made a video showing you know, the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this propane conversion. And uh, you know, it's just so great to have this for a generator. And you guys probably know why. It's because when you're RVing, you always have propane on hand, right? You know, you've got to run your RV's refrigerator if you have an absorption style refrigerator. Your furnace is going to run on propane, water heater, the stove and range. So if you're RVing, you've got propane. And for us, we have a diesel truck. And so the only reason we would ever have a gas can on us was for the generator. And so by doing the propane conversion, we were able to completely eliminate gas from the equation, which was excellent for so many reasons. First off, gasoline can be messy. You know, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I would pour gasoline into the generator, I would always either get it on my hands or I would get it, you know, along this rim or something that I would have to then clean off. Otherwise everything would just reek of gasoline. And then the exhaust fumes from the generator itself when running on gasoline smell way more than propane. You know, if you guys have watched King of the Hill at all, you know that propane is an extremely clean burning fuel. And so the exhaust fumes just smell so much less than gasoline. Also, propane has a near infinite shelf life when stored in one of these cylinders, whereas gasoline goes stale relatively quickly. You know, if you're going to be, if you're going to be keeping gasoline in a gas can for any number of months, you know that you need to have stable in that gasoline to keep it fresh so that you can still safely use it inside of a small engine like this. Some of you may mention, however, that propane is less energy dense than gasoline, and so it will reduce the power output of the generator by a little bit when running it off of propane, which is true. However, I can assure you that we have found no issues when trying to start and run our air conditioner when uh, running our generator off of propane in conjunction with the MicroAir Easy Start. And we have even done this in very high elevations, over 9,000 feet, and still haven't had any issues. So for us, that's just not a concern. And again, I'll post links in the video description below to Hutch Mountain's website so you can take a look at their propane conversion if you're curious about it for yourself. And again, we have a promo code for that as well. Same promo code as the Easy Start. It is FATE. Use that at checkout and you'll save $15 off of this propane conversion as well. Now, if you're going to be going with a setup similar to this, I highly recommend that you upgrade the size of your propane tanks if you're able to. Our travel trailer originally came with two 20-pound tanks, 
and we went ahead and upgraded those to two 30 pound tanks knowing that we also had this uh, generator with a propane conversion on it. You know, we, we were already running through propane as full-time RVers relatively quickly and we had been kicking around the idea of upgrading to 30 pounders for a while and then with this propane conversion, it just became a no duh. We, we really needed to have more propane on hand so we didn't have to worry about running out. But that's it, it's pretty simple. In my opinion, this is the ultimate way to power your RV's air conditioning unit when you're boondocking or dry camping. You know, if you didn't go with the small generator, the Micro Air Easy Start and the propane conversion, your other option, again, is to get a massive inverter generator and run that off of gasoline, which in my opinion is an inferior fuel when RVing because you're always gonna have propane on hand and running this off of propane is just so much better for all the reasons I listed. And then again, if you have to have, or the easy start is gonna keep you from having to get a larger generator just to overcome the massive startup current of your air conditioning unit. And so if you're able to do everything else, power all the other systems on your uh, RV with a smaller generator like this, why wouldn't you? You know, it's, it's more compact, it's lightweight, it's quieter, and most, most important in my opinion, less expensive. And what's crazy is if you add up the cost of this smaller generator, the Micro Air Easy Start, and the propane conversion, you're still $600 cheaper than the cost of the Honda EU 3000 watt generator. I hope this video was helpful for you guys out there that are looking to get another generator to power your RV's air conditioning system while boondocking or dry camping. Again, links in the video description below to everything I talked about, and I hope you guys have an awesome camping season. It's just starting. The weather is starting to get so beautiful and warm. Have a great season, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.